so I guess I'm gonna have to uh, record on here because this well this I have nothing else to delete and I don't have enough storage to make this whole video on my phone so yeah we're basically just stuck with this and I'm going to uh, I'm just going to basically just fix my sound settings real quick to where um, I can to where I can uh, play what I want to and still There we go. Alright, so. <laughs> I'm about to let more than. More people I have to know on letting. And all those secret. No, I'm not. Uh. So, this started. The. When we got out for spring break. That's when all this started. Uh. Um, I hope we have to push this next one. Um, anyway, so it started uh, the week of spring break when everything, when the whole world went down the drain. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, all, all this started. Well, that week of spring break that Friday but the day we got out of school that Friday uh, we I picked up two people one was my girlfriend only hope y'all know who she is cuz I ain't tell, I ain't said her name a lot but you'll know if you talk to her um There we go. All right. Um. Yeah. So. Device connected. We uh. We tried to find out somewhere to go. Hang out with her, and I was hanging out with the guy. I didn't really know how much time. That well. Uh. But. Uh. Anyway, so we were trying to find out somewhere to go. We have set on Snow Hill Park. And uh with those hanging out Snow Hill Park there was a cover. <laughs> um Yeah, uh Snow Hill Park. Anyways, speed things up. Um well, when we got there, first thing we did, we went straight to bullet bars. She hung up upside down, we took a couple pictures. Well, then we all went to slide. I didn't go to slide first when I got there. She and him kind of did that first. Um, then I went up there. Uh, she had said that she had to go talk on the phone with her roommate. Or her grandma or whatever. Um, yeah, that's what she said she had to do. So... She went off, and then the other guy we were with told me that he had to get into the bathroom. So he went to the bathroom. Um, come to find out, she apparently either lied about where she was going, which she didn't really say where she was going, but she went to the bathroom also. He and yeah, her were gone for a very very, 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 very long time. And it saddens me to think about this. But, anyway. Um. I go down the slide about three or four times. 
And then I text her, and I'm like, Hey, come, come, come at the side. Come up. I want to take a couple pictures to talk to you. She's like, Okay, well, I will when I'm done on the whole I mean, or my grandma. Okay, and I'll say, Okay, so I wait about 20 minutes. Uh, no sign, no takes, no call, no nothing. So I touch again, my Come on, let's, let's go, let's go, let's come, let's come take some pictures. So I'm still on the phone with Mimi. I'll come after. Her. Okay. So I'll wait about 30 more minutes. My phone was already low. At this point, it's at 5%, maybe 1%, I don't know. But, it takes for one time. And the last taste, I said, come on, let's take some pictures up here. I said, my phone was starting to go a little better. I said, let's just want to use your phone. And then I wait and wait and wait. No takes, no respond, no nothing. Nothing. My phone's one percent. Then all of a sudden this lights up. Just like that. And it says I'm coming. So I'm waiting. Don't see her. Don't see him. Nobody. That was the last taste I got from her. Uh. So. Obviously, I say screw it. I said that's like she told me not to go down yet because she wouldn't taste the pictures. Also, she never showed up. So I slid down. I started asking people for their phone. Like random people make the scene to let me use it to contact her. And we. I do get one person's phone before, and I contacted her, but they had to leave, so uh, I just waited for her just back. They waited for about 10 minutes and said, well, Look, man, we gotta go. Uh, so I hand over their phone back, and they leave. And, uh, so nobody else at the park. Everybody has left, so it's dark. Nobody's there except us. So I walk into the park, I was sure of both the names. As loud as I can. I'll walk around the outside of the park. I'm screwing up both the names as loud as I can. No sign. Now, I look off in the distance. I see both of them. I don't know it's. I don't. I didn't know it was them. I just thought it was maybe. They do have to walking. But people do. So far, more day and night. Whatever. Um, but. This is kind of odd because I didn't know where they were. If they were even. There, like they could have left somebody else. They could get kidnapped. They could have just not been avoiding me or something. I don't know what happened. I still to this day I don't know where she had went or where she was this whole time. Like I said, I heard she went to the bathroom. I'm not so certain that's true. Maybe it is. I'm leaning more towards that that is true, but still I'm not 100% sure. 100% sure. But only she can tell you that. But uh. Anyway, uh, as I'm walking back towards the slide, um, like four cars pull up, maybe six, seven cars, I don't know. Maybe. Minimum now, uh, let's just say there's more people than there were cars that had got out of the vehicles. It was about eight black people total. Six guys, two girls. Well, I'm walking, and before I get to the bed to side, I walk and make my rounds again around the park, yelling both their names. No sign, no nothing. Didn't hear from them. Uh, so then, then I walk back to the slide. I was sitting there on the bench. Think to myself, maybe I can ask them for us. So they they just got here. They're gonna be here for us. So if you text them back, uh, I can I, I'll be able to see it. So I walked up to them and asked them, "Listen, anyone y'all have a phone with tomorrow?" And one of the girls says, "Yeah." They give me their phone. I go on. I said, uh, "Do you mind if I text my phone on your Instagram?" She, or she's apparently not texting back on her phone. But yeah, you okay. can. So I text her back. On Instagram, I said, Hey, this is Dylan. Uh, come to the car, we need to go. 
going for it. Now, it's about 8.30 around, so I was told to be home at night. I knew I could get him or her home and then get back to my house by night if I drove fast. Well, they asked me what's going on. I said, well, me, my girlfriend and this guy that she was hanging out with, they just disappeared off somewhere. And I don't, I don't know where they are. And I asked what she was wearing. I said, uh, she's wearing a white shirt with gold writing on it and couple pants. And they asked me how tall she is. Like, five foot, maybe? It's a little bit taller? I don't know. I, like, I, I can't give you exact measurements. Small girl. But, uh, <clears throat> That's me how God was. I didn't know. I did not know his age. I did not know how tall he was. All I knew is we were hanging out with him. And she apparently knew him. Now, you may think I'm kind of skeptical about this. Or maybe you may be skeptical about this. But the guy didn't seem like he made it hard. He, he, he had no intention of doing anything. At least I think. But, uh, yeah, um, so, about that time, I sent that, I sent the text, well, I'm talking to them, they're not looking directly at me, no eye contact, no nothing, they're looking past me, so, you know, when someone don't make eye contact with you, you're trying to talk to them, it's kind of hard to talk to them, so I'm stuttering, and they're looking past me, just keep looking past me. They squint their eyes a little bit, and like, they said, I'll turn to look and see what they're looking at. So I turn around, I look, and they're like, is that, is that the girl you're talking about? It looks like white shirt and Kevin Pants, and apparently they have better eyes up than me. I cannot see that far. So, I lean in, and I squint my eyes a little bit, like, and sure enough, that was her and him. As they get closer, I can see that. So I start booking it. I'm running as hard and as fast as I can. But before I started running, I started slowly walking towards them. They're walking. They start to slow down. Like they know I'm coming towards them, but they slow down. I don't get to the tree before I hear them start to get up. Now they end up getting jumping. Ghetto and like, uh, oh, you need to. Beat his ass. You like you need to you need to you need to beat him up, beat her up. You need to tell her who's Charles. I'm like, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. I did not say that out loud. So when they were doing that, I was bucking it, bucking it towards him. Now, when you see somebody you know running towards you with a book, group of black people behind them, you're gonna think to run, right? No, they turned to run, took about five steps, stopped. Turned back around, was facing me. They ran from me the first fucking time, like, like they were doing something that they didn't want me to know about. I'm not saying they were. I'm just saying that's what it looked like. So I can see why somebody would say something along the lines of that, which that's what they were thinking. Um, they were thinking that they had sex. So that's, I mean, that's how it looked. But I wasn't too sure that they did because. At this point in time, she never cheated on me. So, anyway, uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm looking towards them. Since I've run past them, I've turned around to see if they're following me. No, they're not. So I ain't, I gotta be the boyfriend of this person. So I turn around, I walk back. And I was going to let them run, but by the time I got there, they just showed up, and there's no point in running because they were going to catch us. If we had a running head start at first, I could have caught up with them because I was faster than the people that were running behind me that were on my side at first, and then they turned around and not on my side, they're on each other's side at that point. So, anyway, she says, Leave us alone. I'm not going to say the rest of what she said. But Let's just say, let's just say, they start to get defensive, and they crowd me up, or the guys crowd me up, and where the other girl went, I had no clue, but the one that girl walked up to her, and just punched her, punched her hard, because of what she said, punched her hard as she could, 
just thin eye, ah, just so hard. Okay, to tell you how hard she got punched, she got punched so hard that it looked like she did a summer, backward somersault. Like she fell back and did a whole somersault. I couldn't hear her crying because I was too focused on myself about the predicament that I was in. But I got out of that predicament real quick because they had run off when they punched her. Once I realized she got punched, I ran after them. I was not fast enough to catch up with them. She gets, she says it's my fault. Uh, you could say that, but anyway, she starts calling me a a hole, son of a sob, mother ever, and all this, this and that. So, I get pissed off. I'm in the park lot, I'm hearing this, I just start punching this shit out of the tree. Uh, my knuckles are bleeding. Like, I'm punching the tree as hard as I could, trying to let my hair out. It didn't work. The cops got there and I was pissed off. Now, let me tell you what I thought happened at first. I thought she went for a punch and when I saw her fall back into a somersault and didn't hear her crying at first, I thought she had dodged it. In my mind, I was thinking, that's a pretty that's a damn good way to dodge something like that. I didn't think you knew how to do that. But anyway, yeah, so that happened, and yeah, so since I told you what everybody thought had happened, um, going on to now. And this video is solely based on the purpose of a lot of what's actually bothering me. Now, <clears throat> fast forwarding to when I was at work one day. For some reason, she had to have my phone, and I had to have hers. So, she got my phone and went to her mom's work, and was going to come back. And she did come back, and I had her phone. Her phone died, but not before I went through messages. Oh yeah, that's pretty good to see. She have, had apparently been cheating on me with Chris. Oh, shit, so that's a thought. Um, well, yeah, I don't know what well, Anyway, she was cheating on me with him. So, like, I saw a text that said, I love you, hey baby, hey. Love you, love you too, love you more now. Oh, yeah, honey. Yeah, all that. And also, two other guys. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if they their names or not, but. Yeah. Two other guys. Same thing. So, well, one of the guys texts to say, hey, baby, do you want to hang out? I text back and say, no, I am hanging out with my boyfriend. Acting like her, and she says, and he says, I thought, oh, was your boyfriend, baby? I said, nah, you're not. And <laughs> he's like, oh, you fool, you bitch. Oh, like, oh, okay. We'll see. Give my phone back. She hadn't done a single thing on my phone, except for watch TikTok. I don't know what she did on my phone. Whole time she had it. But no new no text, no nothing. She just had my phone. And the dude that she was cheating on with, the first one I said, uh, he was secret texting her like as if he didn't want to see it. Well, they didn't want to keep it to, well, I confronted her about it, she didn't want to talk about it, so, you know. I didn't want to piss her off, so I didn't want to talk about it. Well, I guess I'm kissing one night, and... I get pissed off. I get pissed off just talking about this. Um. Yeah. Kissing, kissing. Something kissing twice. And. Further about it. Was not letting go this time. 
and she says this she says the only reason I kissed him I hesitated to do it but I only did it because he had such a bad life I was trying to get Lily to let him think that man who would date and I didn't want to even though I do I get that but the thing you gotta realize is you can't do that that's not that's not okay you can't do that you gotta you gotta stay true to who you're with you gotta stay loyal now after this I have this side of me, or like part of me, keeps saying that she's seeing other guys on the side that I don't know about. And then another side of me is saying she's not. Part of me wants to trust her, then part of me is saying I shouldn't. And I've had people tell me over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over that she's not right for me, that I need to move on, I need to break up with her. This is the reason why I had it. In my mind, if you're gonna break up with somebody, at least know the whole problem at first. The problem is, I don't know the whole problem. Like, I don't, like, there's so much stress on my mind, that's why I'm making this video. To let y'all know what's bothering me, because so many people don't know. But shit, you're gonna know after this. But yeah, um, just I don't know how problem. but I'm not concerned about that. I just want her to be true with me. I want her to be real, and. I want her to just tell me the truth. That would be mad. Just have a casual calm conversation. Like a girlfriend should do. When she has something that she has done wrong, she should talk to the guy about it. And if I ever did something wrong, like, I would talk to her about it. Like, if I'm going out somewhere, I tell her. If something's on my mind, I tell her. I tell her. My problems are everything. Like if, if I did something wrong, I would tell him. I'm, I mean, I, she would find out eventually. But if she would just be real with me and tell me exactly what's happening and what's going on, and is she cheating on me? As long as she's not doing it at that point in time, she ain't got nothing to worry about. Because it's in the past, already happened. I can't change that. I can't be mad because it's in the past, already. It's already happened. Like I said, she kissed him twice before, and I caught them. And I also seen text. So, what reason do I not have to? What reason do I have to not think she might be doing it again? That way is really bothering me. Like, what? What? What do I have to not? What reason do I have to not, for, for me not to think that she's not cheating again? So, uh, I really need help with this. Alright, our, uh, five month mark will be of our relationship, but how long is it going to be in two days? 26th of every day? Uh, yeah. So, Anyway, I know a couple of you didn't like the fact that we were dating in the first place. But you know what? This message is to y'all. Y'all can forget about it and keep it to yourself because I'm a date who I want to. I'm 18 years old. I'm my own person. You don't control me. And it's straight up. But, yeah. She, she subbed her twice. She did basically. And I don't know what to do. I don't know how to talk to her because she ain't gonna be real with me at this point. 
Try to yeah, I can see my face is a little bit red. Um, pop shoots not high in my house. I'm a little red though. Um, but yeah. Um, if you can help, please do. If you can't, it's fine. I know at least one person can. If not more. We're just tell what I need to do. Because I'm at a point where I just don't care anymore. I just want the salt. I want her to talk to me about her problems. I want her to tell me if she did something wrong. I want her to tell me what's wrong, what's going on, what anything is wrong. To help like for her to help me help her, basically. And you do the same for me. Yeah. So, if you can help, please feel free. If you can't, then... Oh, well, I guess. Um, and, uh, one more thing. Those people still are gonna wonder why I'm in this relationship. Now, let me put it simpler for you. I feel like this could go further. It feels real. It feels like something's there that I don't want to lose. Something is there. I know there's something there. It's just we get a couple problems that we need to fix. Once we fix those problems, we ain't got nothing to worry about. But, so then, I guess we'll see where this goes but thank y'all for watching and like I said I know I said too many times already but if you can help please do if you can't that's okay uh, I know somebody can uh, like I said this video would take roughly 20 minutes I think I said that roughly 20 minutes to roughly an hour this probably will be 30 minutes but um Thank you for watching. I'm gonna be at 20 minutes probably. Maybe a little longer. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching as always. And uh, hope you enjoyed and hope you can help at some point. And hope maybe some people can relate. If you like the video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and turn your notifications on. And that will catch y'all. That's one. It may be the vlog like, or a story like this, or maybe gaming, or maybe singing. Just depends on what I do and when I get my PlayStation back. Uh, we got a new game. Uh, I will play it for y'all and stream it. But, hope you enjoy as always. And see you next time. Bye.